Welcome to GED Mastery. Let's evaluate algebraic expressions. Here's a quick example to start out. It says evaluate when x equals 5, and then we have an expression here, 2x minus 4. So that means whenever we see the x, we're going to substitute in 5. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to write this like this, 2 times 5 minus 4. And remember, our PEMDAS will be important here. Or you could just enter everything exactly like this into the calculator, and it will respect that order of operations. You've got to deal with parentheses, then exponents, then multiply, divide, then add and subtract. So we've got multiplication here, which comes before subtraction, so let's do it. 10 minus 4, and finally, addition and subtraction is all that's left, so our answer is 6. All right, evaluate the expression for y equals 3. So let's substitute 3 everywhere there's a y. And we're going to write, besides substituting that 3, we're going to write everything else the same. So 2 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 1. All right, our order of operations tells us that we've got to deal with that exponent first. So let's go ahead and do it. 3 squared is 9. So we'll just write that over. And now we can deal with our multiplication. So 2 times 9 is 18, plus 3 times 3 is 9. And now all we have left is our addition and subtraction. So 18 plus 9 is 27, and 27 minus 1 is 26. Evaluate the expression for r equals negative 2, and we have negative r squared minus r. So we're substituting in negative 2 whenever there's an r. Let's carry down this first negative sign, and then where r is, let's put that negative 2 in parentheses, and then minus, now instead of r, we'll put negative 2. So if you have your calculator, you could put it in exactly like this with the parentheses so that you don't make a mistake. And let's follow our order of operations and take care of that exponent first. Negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. And now let's carry down this negative sign that was outside the parentheses. And now we just have subtraction left, negative 4 minus negative 2. Now minus and negative means plus, so this is the same thing as negative 4 plus 2, and that is negative 2. Evaluate the expression for x equals 9 and y equals negative 7. Okay, so we have two different substitutions to make here. Let's substitute in the x first, so instead of x we'll write 9, and we'll write everything else the same. And then plus, now we'll substitute in the value for y, and it's negative, so I'm going to put that in parentheses. And that's squared. All right, let's take care of that exponent first. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. And I can go ahead and do negative 9 divided by 3. So that's negative 3 plus 49. And my answer is 46. I hope you feel better about evaluating algebraic expressions. Remember, those parentheses are really important. You've got this.